Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Were Witch Project. Sorry about that. I'm Were Witch, and this is Harry. Greetings to you, ghosts, and salutations to all that like to go bumping in the night. That's right, Harry. Today's video is going to be as quick as possible, showing you the Haunted Knights Castle Pack for V Rising. There are five DLCs that we're going to be covering in this mini series. Let's get to the video now. The Haunted Knights Castle Pack DLC is purely cosmetic. There is no pay to win with these DLCs. Some of the items that we'll be covering today will not be available until you reach certain points of progression within the game. So try to keep that in mind. This pack is free on Steam. So I would highly suggest you get in it if you enjoy building inside of V Rising. Now Steam does have a disclaimer on the DLC's page saying that it was slash is only available until November 7th of 2022. But I know there were some recent reports of players still downloading this pack. Let us know what your experience is. We'd love to know uh, what you guys are, are dealing with there, whether that's true or not true. We'd love to hear from you. Okay. So uh, this is a Halloween themed pack. Let's get right to it. The Haunted Knights wall decor comes with two different types of wallpapers. You've got your full there with this cool bat design, bat wing design there, and then with the wood paneling at the bottom as well. And you'll get these uh, pillar styles that come along with it. Let's go to this window over here that's not covered up by a spider web. Here are the stained glass windows. They're just sick. I don't know what else to say about it. It's awesome. If you like Halloween, you like spooky stuff, I mean, this one was right. I mean, the whole damn game was right in all in our ballpark. So it was pretty cool when this came out. Um, uh, this is the carpet right here that comes along with it. The Haunted Knights carpet. And, and uh, I just want to say the end pieces, they look pretty wicked just by themselves. This like spider web design here is just gorgeous, man. The whole game's beautiful. But uh, these look good just by themselves. So maybe if you were going to do some accenting inside of your castle, uh, those things might be what you're looking for. I tried to include as many pieces inside of these uh, as I did these builds to show everything off. Okay, moving on to lighting. You have your Haunted Knights Floating Gourd. These things are pretty cool. They're like pumpkins with, of course, pumpkin vines. And you can see they're kind of just slightly rotating right now. Pretty cool. And they cast a neat shadow on the ground. Uh, that spooky evening kind of thing. You can see they're turning right there. Hopefully you can see that. All right. And then you've also got these cool pillar-mounted pumpkin uh, tendrils uh, lighting as well. Those are also very cool. All right. Next up is the mirror over here. This is the Haunted Knights standing mirror. Functions just like any other mirror, except you can see it's got the pumpkin vines coming down off at the side. All right, let's go over to the lighting here because I'm getting off, uh, getting off script here. Better stay on the script. These things are awesome, right? They're just you're jack-o-lantern but man they give off really cool lighting i don't believe you can change the color on these i'm pretty sure you can't you know how like your other lighting and stuff and same thing goes for the gourds and the floating gourds those um i don't believe you can change the the color of those so it's gonna be this orange uh default color but these are just wicked look at the detail they put into these sorry my tail's gonna catch on fire this one's not very happy, and you can see there's a little small with a little bat carved into it, little mini pumpkins off the side there. And then you've got your skulls, of course, with uh, some candles on top of them as well. That is the skull candles, lapping pumpkin, grinning pumpkin, and wailing pumpkin. Okay, let's look at the cursed caskets. This thing is so very cool it's got like that inner glow popping off and the chains along the side and the bone arms coming up and i'm not sure what this is this little plate in front but it doesn't matter it's awesome even if you weren't going to use this and you had like a graveyard set up with all your tombstones 
Man, you could throw some of these down just to make it look cool. They're, they are bitchin'. I, I love those. And this is the uh, Haunted Knight small chest. I don't know why they called it small, other than the fact it's a small stash. Um, but there is no large stash or anything like that. It just comes with this. And it functions just like any other stash. Open it up. You can see the top part of the pumpkin is up there with the bottom right there, which is pretty neat. All right, let me make sure that I'm not forgetting anything. Um, okay, yes, let's go over these webs that you can put up. These things are awesome. These are great for just adding a little bit more atmosphere inside of your castle. You've got one that goes over windows, one that goes on pillars, and a full one that can go over a wall. None of them that go over doors or anything like that. And I think these look really good too if you use them sparsely. And they do work when you have mounted uh, pillar statues like that. And they look great, man. They just look awesome. Like that looks so cool. Especially if you got like a part of your castle that you don't use a lot and stuff, you can put this in there. Hell, even if you do, it doesn't matter. But that is the Haunted Knights Castle Pack. Hope that helped you out. Okay, everyone, that covers this DLC for V Rising. If this video helped you decide whether or not to nab this one up, let us know in the comments. And if you want to see the other DLCs for V Rising, we'll have those in our V Rising playlist that should pop at the end of this video. If you enjoyed what you saw today, maybe slap that like button, subscribe, and feel free to share our videos with a friend. That stuff helps us out more than we could ever thank you for. We've got all kinds of content for V Rising on our channel and for the games that we play on the project. We've got tips, tricks, guides, full gameplay episodes with tips peppered into them as well. Yeah, it, and Witch has wasted all kinds of time playing V Rising too. L like what, 600 some odd hours? I'd prefer not to confirm or deny that. Uh, not as much as some other games. I'll say that. So if you have any questions, leave those in the comments as well. That's right, H. I'm happy to help our community whenever I'm available. So with that being said, see you guys later. And th thanks for watching the video. I'm supposed to say that. You're, you're off script, man. I'll say whatever I want. No, dude, there's a format that we're trying to adhere to. Adhere to a doorman? Gross. I, Maybe it's time to wash it then. I said format. Floor mat. Format. Rorschach? <laughs> you know, he's my favorite superhero. Never mind. <laughs>